Again, another unscripted video today. I want to talk about this machine. It's a Tascam DA20 Mark II, and it's a DAT, a digital audio tape um, recorder. I got this one actually for free. I found that at a scrapyard. It has like rack mounts here on either side because it's a 19 inch machine. And it was in a server rack. As far as I know, that server rack was in a kind of a sound studio. So as I said, I got that for free. And I want to show you the difference between a digital audio tape and a cassette tape. So a digital audio tape, as far as I know, was developed by Sony um, in the late 80s. And that is the recording quality of this. It's kind of similar to a CD. So it's a digital recording. As far as I know, it's 16 bit. And you can other than with an uh, audio tape, if you make a copy of a digital audio tape, it's actually always the same quality, of course, because it's digital. <clears throat> so what are the main differences as far as I know? So first, with a cassette, you can actually use a cassette, take it out, turn it, and then you can play the other side. My tape deck, usually, you wouldn't need it because you can play either direction, but just assume you can play a tape in both directions. With a digital audio tape, you can't do that. It's just running in one direction. What you also see, um, the form factor. So it's a little bit smaller than a cassette. Uh, it's not that much, but other than a cassette, what you see here, tape basically, it's just like you could touch it, so it's free. Um, here, it's actually protected or covered. So what you would need to do, you, you can remove that. Uh, it's a bit hard to do with one hand, but I guess you can imagine what I mean. So you have a protection here, and then you put the tape in there. And in this case, it's a front loader. I have no clue if there is a loading system like this available or not. Since this one was in a server rack, I guess that's just the technology. The rest of it, it's actually like a tape deck. So you see you have like um, the same functions as you would have um, on a regular tape deck. There is not a big difference, except that everything you record here would be, of course, digital. So you have a better quality. As far as I found out, there was never big a breakthrough. Yes, digital audio, audio tape or DAT became a little bit of a success or it, it maybe is a success if it comes to data storage, uh, because still to the very day, they store a lot of data on tapes instead of hard drives, but that's just more for than put them in a vault, uh, as I said, I guess this one was in a sound studio, which kind of makes sense because you can record digital. You don't lose any quality. You have actually the same functions here in the display, more or less like you would have in a tape deck. So it's not big a big difference, but what you can see, you just can play in one direction other than with my tape deck, which can play in both directions. As I said, a digital audio tape just plays in one direction and then you have to turn it back. What you can see, you have different recording modes. So, and that's what I pointed out. It's more like the CD quality. CD quality would be, I don't want to lie, but it's, I guess it's 44.1K. So that would be the CD quality. I do not really know what ID mode means. Maybe you can ID something. Um, that's like just the counter functions here. And then you see it's basically just like a tape function. I can play a few seconds before I get a, guess a copyright strike from YouTube. So let's just play it a few seconds. Well, you have to trust me. It sounds like a CD. I'm not playing this, by the way. I do not have um, an amplifier attached to this. I just have active speakers behind me. I use that little device here where I can switch from 
the turntable to the digital audio tape and to my cassette player. That's kind of a handy device if you have like active speakers. So I can just change the audio input source here. That's basically all I can say about that digital audio tape. I got it for free. I use it for one reason, just if I have a brand new record, I play it for the first time and then I immediately record on the digital audio tape. So yes, I could do that, of course, also with a CD burner or nowadays you could just uh, digitize it with your computer. But since I got that machine for free and it makes a digital recording and I got some 20 tapes or so with that machine, I just use that machine for digital recordings. Now I have to say one thing, it's still a tape, right? So wear and tear, in my opinion, applies to a digital audio tape the same way like it applies to this tape, except here, the more copies you make, the more you play it, I guess the quality gets worse. It's not the case here, but what I found out, these digital audio tapes are pretty fragile. So sometimes the tape comes out of the, that little cassette. So it's not the best technology nowadays, right? And the problem with digital audio tape, I'm pretty sure was it came out the same time where you could buy CDs and then later CD burners. And of course, as we all know, they are better to handle. I'm not saying that they are maybe better storage wise, quality wise, there is no difference between a CD and a digital audio tape, but it just came too late in the game. If they would have come out, I guess, in the early 80s, it maybe would have been a success, maybe even in cars. But as far as I know, these machines were pretty much expensive at the time. And so nobody bought them except professionals, right? We all stuck to a tape deck like this. Honestly, in the early 80s, <laughs> I could not have afforded this one, which I got from Goodwill for $10 or so. It's a pretty good tape deck. It has a pretty good quality. So if I have to be honest, yes, you can hear the difference between this one and this one, but it's not that drastically. If you have a pretty a pretty good tape in here, like a high quality cassette, and you have a good recording, it's not a big difference to this one. Yes, I know audio files will tell me it's a huge difference. I don't care. I don't have the best speakers in the world. Well, they're good. They're stu so-called studio speakers. But I just thought I'm going to show you this oddity because not a lot of people use digital audio tapes or have ever heard of it. Thanks for watching.